Today I'm gonna share with you the joys of dehydration. Now this is my go-to container for all my excessive uh, fruit, excuse me, vegetable. This is my vegetable container. And of course I would love to share what's up in it. And of course, this is the world of goodies. So when you have too much of anything, you want to dehydrate. Um, tomatoes on sale, a dollar a pound, uh, I dehydrate. This is my soup container. Um, I have in here white potatoes. I have um, celery, onions, garlic, um, dill, some rosemary. I have a whole collection of goodies. Now, the great thing about my famous container is that it seals up really, really nice. Um, and when guest comes and you need something extra really, really quick, this container is um, an easy go-to. Just warm up some meat and you have a hearty soup that will serve as many or as few people as you like. When you have excess... Um, fruits and vegetables, I continue to add to it. I do have one that I use for my fruit. This is a, um, a star fruit, but I will dehydrate as much or any excess fruit before I let it go bad in the refrigerator. This is my container. It only takes eight to sometimes 12 hours to dehydrate just about any fruit or vegetable that you have. Um, with this, once it's dehydrated, the flavors are intensified. It, um, I find that I use very little salt. Um, and so if you don't have one, get one. A dehydrator is very cheap, but this is a good way to store extra soup, especially if you have family, you need something to go on the go. You can throw this in the crock pot and you can make up a big batch of um, soup, throw a piece of meat in it makes it a heartier soup but i just want to share with you my my collection of uh, vegetables and herbs that i store in this container um start one today it's well worth it okay